The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my courses on fashion designing available online on Fashion Premier Academy. If you're interested in finding out more about it and enrolling, there's a link in the description below. Okay, enjoy. Okay, let's drape a dress. I started with a piece of muslin, 20 inches across, and the length is really up to you how long you want your dress. I'm gonna start with the neckline, obviously. I'm gonna bring my form down to my eye level so I can see better. And just like we did in the bodice, you wanna have a few inches, maybe three inches or so, and then the neckline starts. So I'm gonna put a little cross mark, a pin and a cross mark. And once again, I'm gonna start by, watch this, going across and going up, just like we did in the bodice. And then we'll slash down towards the neckline and thus releasing the muslin so that it falls flat onto the form. In this case, I'm going to keep it fairly rectangular, very slim. So what happens is that what are we going to do with all this fabric? So I'm going to pin center front as we always do. I'm going to put a few pins right here and here at the waistline. And keeping this slim, then the question is, okay, well, if I'm going to keep this slim, I'm smoothing my muslin all around the hip area and then I'm left with all this fabric. I'm going to keep my shoulder clean, no, no dart on top. I'm going to put the dart right into, into the side seam. So I'm going to temporarily put a pin or two just to keep this in shape. I'm going to come back to that. I want to minimize all this uh, extra fabric so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut most of this out so here's my muslin my hip area I'm gonna put a few pins on my form on my muslin so it stays in place I want some ease you don't want to skin tight so I'm gonna put some ease in the in the muslin as part of the draping process and smooth your muslin so that this becomes my dart. I'm going to go back to this dart here and create a dart that will go from the apex into the side seam. So take any excess fabric and pin it right through and through so that you have what will become a dart. Okay, maybe I want a little more E, so I'm just gonna give it more flare here like this, so it's not so tight. Put a few pins back in place on my dress form, on the I'm side. I'm gonna take my pencil or marker, and I'm gonna mark here and here, so that I can remove this pin and fold the dart so that one leg of the dart, remember the legs of the dart, one leg falls on top of the other. I'm gonna pin my dart closed. If you really wanna get creative and have fun with it, take a piece of elastic or a uh, spaghetti strap, something that you can tie around the waist like this and then you can uh, work your muslin and manipulate your muslin to create a different shape so uh, some belt loops or create shirring like gathers or I can take all this excess fabric and turn it into pleats, or tucks, or darts. 
Um, next is basically a matter of marking all your drapes using a pen or a pencil if you want to mark your waistline so that the seamstress knows where the elastic or belt loop or wherever you want to put in there is. Mark your shoulder and the armhole and your side seam. See, the, the, the possibilities are endless. When it comes to draping, this is where the fun really happens because you can play around and, and create pleats and tucks and gathers and shirring, shaped necklines, etc., etc. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. Check out all the courses available at Fashion Premier Academy by clicking the link below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you will be notified when I post new videos, which is every week. I'll see you in class.